Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. So today I've got the usual 10 sales in 10 minute sales video for you. Um, so yeah, it's been a good week this week. Um, obviously this video will be going out in a few weeks time. So just to uh, give you the kind of dates for this uh, video, um, these sales are between about the 26th and the 1st today, which is Friday the 1st of February. Um, so yeah, about like six days worth of sales. Um, and yeah, these are just random ones that I've plucked out. Some better ones and then some bread and butter ones as always. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so it's been good. You know, sales have been strong this week. I mean, pretty much since Saturday, which was the 26th, all the way up till uh, today. I mean, I don't know whether I've had any sales today, but yesterday was brilliant. Um, and I'm sure that some sales will come in even if I haven't had any today yet. But uh, yeah, you know, it's just been brilliant. You know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I've just been all hitting hitting my targets and stuff and uh, yeah can't complain with that so with that being said uh, we will get on with this uh, rather positive sales update um, so yeah we've got first here we've got these two dot two uh, Cybermen figures we've got one from uh, like two I think it was one of them was from Tomb of the Cybermen it has that certainly has that sort of era to it anyway it was certainly from the Patrick Troughton era, which is this one here. And then we've got the uh, 10th Planet one on the left here. Um, so yeah, 24 99 plus postage on those two figures there. I don't know why I did these as a bundle. I just maybe thought, oh, they might go well uh, together. But yeah, uh, they did sell in the end. So I was pretty happy with that. Didn't take major amount of time to sell either. So yeah, 24 99 plus postage for those figures. Quite happy with that. Next, we've got something that I've had for ages and ages and ages. Uh, we've got this vintage large brass octagonal uh, sort of eastern um you know tabletop tray that sort of stuff uh 30 pound 86 you can see that price there. i've obviously reduced it at some point um and then obviously i've got my 10 pound postage on uh when hermes was uh like high basically was a higher cost for the 5 to 10 kilos or 10 to 15 kilos i can't remember but uh, the, for larger items or heavier items now, Hermes have kind of reduced the prices, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so 30 quid there plus the 10 quid postage. Did take a long time to go. This is from an auction job lot that I paid for. It's done and dusted. So it is profit after postage and fees. But it did take a long time to go, this one. You can see there is a bit of wear around the sort of at the inside edges to it. You can see the slight bits of uh, wear and stuff. And I think it has got some slight bits, not, not necessarily... Well, I suppose it is like rust or something, but there's another word for it, and I can't think of the, of the, the uh, word for it, which you can see in that bottom left-hand corner there. Hopefully you can see. I don't know whether I'm obstructing the view a little bit, um, but you might be able to see there's some sort of... Oh, what do you call it? I can't remember what the word is, but it's like the copper's gone, or, or the brass even has gone a little bit of a greeny colour. I'm not sure what you call it. I, I have... I know the name, but it just escaped me at the moment. But yeah, so I was pretty happy with that one. Nice little sale there. Um, so next is another Dot 2 figure. I think there's another couple of Dot 2 figures in this sales update, actually. They've been going pretty well this week. In fact, see, ever since I got them, I've been I have been steadily selling them. And they've been going quite well. So uh, certainly it must be just to do with my keywords and my title and my photographs and everything. Like I always say, you know pack your titles with keywords and and hopefully you'll uh, attract a sale so obviously with this one here i knew that this figure was like you know the face of evil figure it's leela of course i put in there doc 2 companion uh you know like five inch figure i mean i could have probably put i think this would have probably been a character options figure i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it probably was so i could have put character options in there as well or whatever the brand is um so yeah that might have been an addition as well but it did sell and it didn't take too long to go for 20 two pound and 30 pence there. again i probably would have reduced that down from 24.99 something like that so yeah pretty happy with that one it's cool looking figure it's one of the slightly more sought after figures it's not like a a really rare figure or anything but it's just slightly more sought after and if you can get it brand new in the box then you're looking at a little bit better money still as well if you, if you kind of hold out for it so yeah that's that one Next, we can see here is this Harry Potter's Hagrid's uh, pet dog Fang, uh, the, the Harry Potter Studio Tour plush that I got for one pound at the car boot not long ago at all. Um, probably, 
well, it's just over two weeks ago now, about two and a half weeks ago. You can see this sold about three days ago, three or four days ago. So it did sell pretty quickly. It sold in a week or something. I put on there twenty four ninety nine plus my postage. Um, and yeah, pretty happy with that one. Um, and obviously, it's just one of those sought after plushies that you know people are looking out for. People are wanting to buy. So you know, if you get your price right, if you put that price. Uh, sort of right on the dot, then you're going to get it pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, quite happy with that little uh, plush toy there. Next, we've got um, a bundle that I was really, really happy to see sell. So this is the Cult of Scarlo, if you don't know from, obviously... Uh, what was it, Doomsday and, oh, Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, the Series series 2 finale. Um, and, yeah, I always used to love the Cult of Scarlo when I was younger um, because when, when that aired, that uh, series, I was like, what, 12, no, not even 12, like 10 or something, um, so I was really big into Doctor Who at that point, and I absolutely loved the idea of the Cult of Scaro, and, and yeah, I was really happy when this sold, and really happy to, to get this bundle, uh, you can see there I got 33 .94. I think someone's managed to attain about 39.99 with the Genesis arc, which is basically the um, Dalek prison ship that, that the four Daleks here were sort of looking after and transporting and seeing if he can actually get it open uh, to let all the Daleks out, of course. Um, so yeah, I think someone got 39.99, but that's with like the Genesis arc. So if you find the Genesis arc with these and you, you, you do hold out a little bit, you wait a while, you can get a really Really good amount of money for these. Uh, I've seen some of these uh, sets actually go for a lot less than this price, so um, I did actually hold out for this one. I did, it, it did um, hang around for a couple of months, but I was more than happy to wait because I knew that, you know, if I priced them less, then I'm going to get a lot less money because, um, as, as I say, some people have got a lot less for these and I wanted to get a better price. So I'd rather wait it out for a little bit better price. But yeah, that was those ones. Next, we've got this World Ultimate Cup of Tea figurine. I think I got this figurine for £20 or £25 plus commission and it included another World Dalton figurine that I think was a similar price to this or maybe a little bit higher price as well. Um, so yeah, 34 99 plus my postage on that one. So that'll obviously pay for the job lot and then when that other figure sells, that'll be basically my profit. Um, so yeah, I mean, there might be a little bit of profit in this one after, you know, all my costs and everything. Um, but the next one, the other figure to sell will be my pure profit out of, out of that job lot. But yeah, really nice figure this one. There wasn't any chips or cracks on it. Nice little figure to look out for, as you can see. I got a good price for it. Um, you know, it's not necessarily a huge huge figure um but it's got a little bit of size to it and people do still like collecting these um so yeah you can see their royal dalton cup of tea figure and this is the h.n uh, 2322 i'm guessing there may have been slight variants on the design and then they put a, a slightly different number on the back but this one is the hn 2322 figure so yeah that's that one uh, next, we've got is something really cool for my uh, one of not my most recent auction haul, but the auction haul before it. Um, and yeah, this basically came for me. It came to me in a job lot that loads of items in it probably works out at about a pound or maybe even less than that. So you know, cost to me. Um, so yeah, fourteen ninety nine. Plus my postage on this one, so really, really cool. I was a little bit hesitant to uh, of listing this because I was like, oh, I don't know with the Swan Vestas and stuff, am I all right to list it or whatever? But I, that was kind of just a um, a bit of a, a doubt in my. I don't even know why I thought it wouldn't be okay to list really. But anyway, I uh, actually finally got it from my lockup, and I thought, well, I'll research it, see if other people are selling it, and if enough have sold on complete and solds, and uh, you know, there's enough of them on, then I'll know it's pretty okay to sell. Um, so yeah. I found out that it was actually worth some half decent money or well, a little bit of money at least. Um, so yeah, fourteen ninety nine plus my postage on that one. I'm really happy with that. You know, it probably sold within a couple of weeks, something like that. It didn't take long to go. Um, it's just it's kind of got this like concave design to form the the um, actual ashtray there, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, fourteen ninety nine plus post, just a cool item really. It's in this kind of realm of Bruriana or however you even pronounce it. I, I cannot, I almost get it right when I say it, but sometimes I think that I've, I've just mispronounced it slightly. But I think it is like Bruriana or something. But it is quite a hard word to pronounce that one. So next we've got his vintage Lucart um, hard plastic. Uh, floral design tea set. Um, now this is quite odd because it is, it's not actually ceramic, it is actually a hard plastic. Um, you would think from the, obviously the photo there, that it would be ceramic, it very much looks ceramic. Um, but yeah, it's actually a hard plastic one. 
And, um, you know, it's not particularly a really sought after one. However, if you get all the, you know, you get the nice little tea set all together, um, you know, you can sell the tray individually, most probably for like 12 99 something like that. Uh, I think I have seen, when I was doing a bit of research, I think I did see single items of this tea set on. Um, but, you know, when you get all the tea set together or, you know, a good few items grouped together in this tea set, um, then you can ask some half decent money. Obviously, they're 24 99 plus postage. Again, this was just in an auction job lot probably didn't cost me that much you know at all if I were to attribute uh, an individual value to this item um, so yeah really really happy with 24.99 plus my uh, 449 Hermes postage um, so yeah pretty happy with that one nice little sale there and then we are coming to the end and I wanted to explain a little bit more about these two figures so when I went to the car boot and if you haven't already uh, you're free to check out my car boot vlog video that I did um, and basically in that video I was saying that I was going to the car boot and my dad was meeting a couple of his friends there and uh, you know I was walking around the car boot picking up loads of stuff and you'll see a little bit of this in the in the vlog I did, I did a little bit of footage at the car boot anyway um, and um, basically I bought a load of Hobbit figures off his friend or his colleague uh, from work, Shazad. And um, basically, you know, I bought loads of those off him. Uh, I gave him a, a decent price for them. We worked out a deal. And, uh, I, you know, then I ended up going home with my mum, who came uh, out. Um, basically to pick me up because I had that much stuff and my dad was wanting to hang around for a little bit of a car boot and then go to lunch with uh, the two friends that he was meeting so or that he met there. So um, basically we carted back the stuff home and then my dad turns up after after having lunch out and probably about one o'clock or something and uh, he, he, set, he comes through the door and he says, uh, Adam, I've got a load of stuff for you in the car. And uh, basically Shazad had very, very kindly indeed um, basically given me his, his entire stall. Now, his entire stall consisted of uh, a lot of wholesale stuff, so a lot of these uh, brand new in-the-box figures, and I'm talking there was about six or seven boxes worth of, uh, some of the stuff was uh, kind of like, you know, kids' ponchos and stuff like that, um, but some of the stuff, a couple of the boxes, were filled with these, uh, you know, brand new in-the-box figures, and then there's another one here that I'll show you in a second. Um, so, obviously, he, he basically said to my dad, um, you know, I'm just wanting to get rid of these, I don't want any money for them or anything like that, um, you know, just let Adam have them or whatever, so... Um, obviously me being me, I wasn't going to let that stand as it, as it was, I was going to give him some money, so, uh, it took me a few days to get some, uh, go down to the town and get some money out, and I put some money in an envelope and, and sent it in with my dad, but unfortunately Sh Shazad didn't even take the money anyway, which is completely his right to do so, um, you know, I just wanted to kind of do the right thing in terms of, uh, you know, at least make that offer and then whatever he'd like to do, whether he'd like to accept it or not, then then that's fine, you know. Um, but, you know, that's how it is. He didn't accept the money um, and I've got a lot of free stock. So I'm very, very grateful to Shazad for doing that for me. That was like above and beyond, not necessary, not needed, but I'm still very, very grateful. And uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot of stock to sell and quite a lot of decent value in them as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, Things like that are just, it's, it's just incredible. I mean, I don't even have any words. You're probably able to tell right now. I don't have any words for how grateful I am for that and how kind of amazing that was, really. So, I, anyway, I, what I did was I've listed loads of these figures now. I've pretty, li pretty much listed all of them. Some of them I've got duplicates of and all the rest of it. Um, Hasbro, Star Wars, Sega Legends, Saga Legends even, uh, Action Figure, Django Fett. This one went for twelve ninety nine plus my postage. You can see that uh, it's a little Django Fett Legends figure there. Um, and, yeah, I've got, I think I've got another one of these actually still to sell, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, there's... a. Uh, Twelve ninety nine plus three forty nine there, so really really happy with that sale. And then we've got a DC Universe Young Justice Robin figure, brand new on the card um, for twelve ninety nine free postage there. Um, so yeah, really really happy with that one. Nice little sales there. 
And, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this sales update. I'll leave it there, guys. Um, and, yeah, because it's probably been about 15 minutes or so now, so I've probably rambled enough. If you did like it, then please do drop a like down below. If you uh, haven't already and would like to subscribe to the channel, then please uh, feel free to do so. If you've got any comments, questions, or queries about anything you've seen on today's sales update or anything I've talked about, then please do drop those comments down below. And I will get back to as many people as possible. I get quite a lot of comments these days, so I try and I try my best to reply to pretty much everyone, but sometimes uh, I end up just having to heart a few of the comments opposed to actually replying to them because simply I just don't have time to even write a couple of sentences to every single comment that I get sometimes. So uh, yeah, but I do try and reply to it. If, you've, if you ever leave me a long comment, like I'm talking, if you leave me like, you know, three or four sentences or even like a paragraph or two, I will respond to those comments. If you leave me a very, very short comment, then I'm probably just gonna heart the comment. So if you want to get my attention, basically write a really long comment. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, with that being said, I'll leave it there and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.